<laughs> Hi everybody, Cher here with ya. Um, I, as promised, uh, have some new fairy gardens to show you guys. Uh, yesterday it was so hot outside that I just didn't want to be outside yesterday. So I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to revamp some of these existing fairy gardens that I have in my house. I had a couple from, like one from Easter still, and I had one left over from Christmas that still had living plants in them. And I just hadn't gotten around to doing anything with them. And you kind of need to be in that, that mode and that, you know, you got to be in the right frame of mind and that creativity kind of going. So I just haven't felt like doing them, but yesterday was the day. So I'm really excited to show you what I did yesterday. So I'll start with this one that I have here on my counter. This one, I had kind of, I had done this one for um, St. Patrick's Day. That's why it's got all the green and stuff in it. And then I just took the little house that I had out of there and I put this little cute little trailer and I've got some owls and I've got some succulents from the dollar tree. These are all just fake little succulents. And then this little guy here is actually an air plant. All you have to do to him is um, put some water on him every couple of days and stick him. He doesn't need, he doesn't need dirt or anything. So he just sits there. And then I've got the little gnome here having some coffee. So this just sits on my counter and I love looking at this kind of stuff. Um, and I put, of course, it was Canada Day a couple days ago. So I've got still got Canada Day decor going on in my house. <laughs> so that's that one. Love that one. And then I'm going to take you down here. This one is probably my favorite of them all. This one, I this was kind of a labor of love yesterday. So you'll notice that it's got an actual working um, little waterfall here. I actually picked this gem up at Value Village um, last fall and I when you go to Value Village you know you can plug things in to see if they work and this actually the pump that came with it didn't work so when I took it up to the till I told the lady I said I plugged this thing in it's not working can I get a discount on it she's like oh how does three dollars sound so I was like perfect because I already had I knew I had pump at home so I got it home put my pump in it and it works perfectly um, so I just love it so yeah and then I found these little adorable little mermaids at Michael's a little while ago. And then I also found this little palm tree hammock at Michael's. They had all their stuff on, fairy garden stuff on 50% off here not too long ago. And then you'll notice, I'll turn this little guy on back here. I put some of those awesome little lights from the Dollar Tree, the little copper uh, wired lights. So I just put them along here and then I glued a couple, few little flowers on there. So at night, this looks so adorable, all lit up. Yes, I actually planted this originally back in June, uh, January. And so this little tropical plant here, I, it's been doing so well. It must just get the right amount of light here or something. I don't know, it's, re it's really happy here. So I planted a few, um, these are real succulents. I got these from my boyfriend's gar uh, mom's garden. So there's this nice big one back here. These are all real. And so I'll just carefully water them from behind so that we don't just I don't disturb all the sand and everything here So and I just love listening to the water. It's so peaceful. I just love how this one turned out Probably my favorite one so far and then right next beside it here. I have this one This was kind of a winter scene. So you'll notice I've got an actual Christmas cactus here <laughs> And it was doing so well. I just thought I would just go with it and so I just revamped this for more of kind of like a little camping scene. So you'll notice I got these two cute little bears. I found them at Value Village as well. It's amazing what you can find there sometimes for cheap and just cute little decor items. Fairy garden items can be very expensive. Anyone that's into that will contest to that. Um, then I found this adorable little trailer. There's actually a light in there. I could turn, turn that on and at night it'll shine the little light through the windows there. Just this one's really cute too. I really like this one. So that's that one. Now I'll take you to a couple other ones here. Oh, we'll just pass by the window. I'm still, I've still got all my Canada Day decor happening out here. It's beautiful out again today. It's hot. Thank goodness for air conditioning. That's all I can say. <laughs> so I've got this other one over here. I've shown you guys these all before. Like I said, this one used to be my Easter one. <laughs> so I just took it all apart. This plant was still living. It used to have flowers and stuff on it, but it stopped flowering. I don't know, maybe it might rebloom again. I'm not sure. Um, but it still looks so healthy that I just left it in there just for some greenery. Popped the house that was in there out, put this other little house in. And I've just kind of reused some of the other things that I had in other fairy gardens. So 
that's what that one looks like. A lot of these pieces came from Michael's, some came from Joanne's, the little fence in the background. I made that myself with some popsicle sticks. And yeah, the little birdhouse I made. Yeah, anything that you can make yourself is so much, it's just way more cost effective that way because some of these things can be just so pricey. So yeah, that's that one. I have another one here on the table. This one here, <laughs> just I think I've showed you guys this one before as well. If the flowering plant stopped flowering, but the plant's still doing really well. It gets good light here. It's pretty happy here. I still got my Canada Day decor going on my table and I put my little lights in my cool red bottles that I was going to use for Christmas, but I thought, oh, these will be perfect for Canada Day. And I've shown you guys these before too. These are those awesome lights that have the little switch right here to turn them on and off with. They, and these look so cool at night when they're all lit up. And then these are also from the Dollar Tree, these little cute little rose lights. I just threw them on there just to give it a little bit more light at night. It looks really pretty. And then finally, I'm just going to give you an update on the one that, that I planted um, a little while ago, the one that's outside. So I'm just going to take you out here. This is the one, I'll just show you. I've added a couple things to it since I planted it. So I got some Canada Day things going on in here as well. I put the little solar light, I got that from Dollar Tree. Got a little flag from the park when we were there. And I put uh, these little chairs actually. Megan had these in her stash. This was, I believe these were from little pet shops or Polly Pockets or something she had and she just didn't want them anymore. She said, hey mom, these would be great for your fairy gardens. I'm like, oh, you're right, perfect. So I scored those from her. And yeah, so it's coming along really well. The plants are doing pretty well. They seem to be happy here. And uh, everything's still blooming. I can't wait for these to trail out. They're going to come down really far into onto the ground probably. And that'll look really cool. And I was kind of hoping this stuff would kind of trail out, which it might still. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, so that's how this one's doing out here. So I'll just go back inside and ooh, it's so hot out here. Wow. So that's basically it for the fairy gardens. <laughs> I know I'd been promising to show you guys these and like I said, I just finally got into the mood to do it. So I hope everybody enjoyed them. I'm going to definitely enjoy them. I just love them. They just make me happy and yeah, they're just so much fun to do. And I hope you guys, this inspires some of you to try it. It's, it's such a fun hobby to get into. It can, like I say, it can be a little bit pricey. So if you can find your things, you know, at Michael's or wherever, when they have a good sale on, I've just been collecting things as I find them. I find a lot of my stuff at Valley Village, thrift stores, wherever, like in a lot of it, you can just make yourself too. So I hope this has inspired you to do some of this stuff. It's so much fun. So anyway, I hope everyone's having a great day and I will catch you again soon. All right. Bye everybody.